Hello and welcome to Ted Shorts. I was looking back at a film I took in 2015 in Weymouth. It was of the Sea Life Tower and it changed its name around that time to the Jurassic Skyline Tower. Um, it closed in 2019, so let's see why and some of its history. Weymouth Harbour on the south coast. It flows into the much larger Portland Harbour on the English Channel. The harbour has many pleasure boats and private yachts, as well as cafes, bars and restaurants. It's a hot spot for tourists. We can now see the tower in the background. When it was first opened in June 2012 at the cost of £3.5 million, it was called the Weymouth Sea Life Tower, but after 2015 it was changed to the Jurassic Skyline Tower. Passengers boarded the viewing platform known as the gondola and rose 53 meters high, that's 174 feet, before the gondola started its rotation. A wonderful aerial view of Weymouth Harbour. It is said the tower had welcomed almost 750,000 visitors in the eight years it was in operation. A wonderful arced sandy beach, very popular with sunbathers and children. It backs on to the explanade with its many attractions, including these wonderful beach huts which one can hire in the summer months. The tower was owned by Merlin Entertainment, which also owns the London Eye, Alton Towers and Chessington Adventures. There's a wonderful view of the Osmonton White Horse and figure of King George III and on round to Ringstead Bay with its white cliffs at White Noth and on in the distance Durdle Door. Looking across to Portland and Chesil Beach and in the foreground Portland Harbour, home of the Portland National Sailing Academy. The rotating viewing platform opened in June 2012, ahead of the London Olympics sailing events held in this area. The tower received national attention in September 2017 as fire crews were called when the emergency brake became stuck and the gondola could not descend, stranding 13 visitors and one member of staff at the top for several hours. The passengers were winched off by helicopter as the weather prevented other modes of safe rescue. So was this the end of this iconic tower? No, the Jurassic Skyline was sold to another operator and dismantled in December 2019 and rumour has it, it was sent to an amusement park in Baghdad. Well, I hope you find that interesting. If you'd like to join me with more of Ted's shorts, do like and subscribe and we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.